I want to make him good and mad. I don't, I don't think you want to pacify the devil, do you? No. All right. So you want to continue to have the mind of Christ. So we are attacked by devils every day. Who are these devils? They used to be the, uh, well, you've heard of them, the Nephilim. Who are the Nephilim? Well, the Nephilim were the offsprings of the fallen angels. The Bible talks about this in Genesis chapter number six. There were uh, the sons of God in the Old Testament. They were called the sons of God. They were angels. And they, in God, uh, the Bible says that in the Old Testament, it uses the word sons of God, which is sons of Elohim, not sons of Jehovah. Jehovah is God's covenant name. We are sons of Jehovah and they are sons of Elohim. Same God, but remember what it's saying for us in New Testament times, when we are born again, we then are able to have the mind of Christ. And so we are in covenant with God. So we are called sons of God also, but not in the same way that they were called sons of God. So in the Old Testament, it says sons of God, angels that came and they are, were able to transform themselves into human form. And angels can do that, but only for a short period of time. But for the time that they were able to transform themselves into human form, they began to look upon the women of, or, the, or the daughters of men, and then they began to lust after them, and then they took them as wives. Then they even uh, conceived children, and those children became known as the giants that were in the earth. These giants had no place uh, with God because their thoughts were always evil. They were not meant to be. They, they, were, they were not uh, meant to spend eternity with God in heaven. And hell actually was not made for them. Hell was made for the devil and his angels who would be their parents. All right. So the Bible says in Jude that their parents, the fallen angels, are in hell in chains and they will be there until the day of judgment. And these Nephilim, which are the offspring of those angels and the women or the, or the uh, daughters of men, they were in the earth during the time of Noah and even after the flood, there were some. And so it says that all of them had corrupted the earth. Why did they corrupt the earth? Because they want the earth to be just like it was uh, just before God uh, created it for mankind. Because it says in Genesis 1, it, it talks about how that the earth was without form and void. That was after Satan and his angels had fallen into the earth. And when they had fallen into the earth, they corrupted the earth and caused it to become without form and void. Then God created again and made everything as it should be, a paradise in the earth. And he said, that's good. And then he put man who was in the image of God on the earth in a garden. And so we were supposed to be in a garden state. And that's where he gave this man dominion over the earth. All right. But these fallen angels, then once again, when they... Uh, conceived and they bore children to the daughters of men and these children became the giants in the earth and then God brought a flood to destroy these giants and their spirits were separated from the bodies. The bodies were destroyed in the earth but what happened to their spirits? Their spirits continued to roam the earth. And throughout the Bible, we will see that those spirits are roaming the earth. They have no place to go. But what do they want to do? They want to possess a body. They prefer to possess an intelligent body. Those who are, who are men who are created in the image of God. If they can take your body, boy, they would be really happy. But guess what? God has given you power over them by putting his spirit into us now. God's spirit being in us, they cannot possess your body. But what can they do with you? They can still influence you by suggesting thoughts to you. So this is called oppression. Christians cannot be possessed by the devils because being possessed means that they have to come to live in you. But to be oppressed 
means that they cannot come into you, but they can put thoughts into your mind. And if you take those thoughts, those thoughts would then cause you to move into doing what they want you to do rather than what God wants you to do. Are y'all still here? Amen. So understand that, I mean, it's not supposed to sound complicated, but just, uh, just know this is how people are influenced by devils. You can either be possessed, that if you're not saved, if you're not born again, they can come and live in you and take full control. But if you are saved, you can still be influenced by those very thoughts that they put into your mind. All right. Now, they want to, tr they, they, they want to transform the earth to a toxic environment. You ever heard of people talking about climate control? How in the world are we going to control the climate? You can, the only thing you can do is use the thermostat that's in your house and you can control the climate in your house. But when it comes down to hurricanes and tornadoes and, and, and winds and thunder and lightning and all of this, we can't do anything about that. But there are people who want to make you think that we can. They want to make you think that we had something to do with how the weather is. Because they talk about how we are treating the environment. There are people who literally worship the earth. Why? Because there are demons who worship the earth. <laughs> they, they, they call it their mother. Mother, earth. Mother, nature, all right? This comes from uh, demons or, or uh, false gods from way back. Guess who they are? The Nephilim. <laughs> all right. But nevertheless, if man could control the environment, what would man do? He would cause you to pay for it. He would charge you taxes to breathe. And believe it or not, we're headed in that direction that if man can control it, man will charge you for it. Yes, yes. That's why you're paying for water. That's why you're paying for electricity. That's why you're paying for food. Food is free. As far as God is concerned, everybody was supposed to eat. But when man got a hold of controlling it, figure, well, I, I, I can make a profit from this. So now you got people starving because mankind wants to control everything. So everything that man controls, man destroys. Why? Because he is operating on a system that was created by these demons. And it comes from way, way, way back. All right. These demons want to control or these devils want to control the earth. And they're trying to use people to do it through because people have bodies. And if they can take your body and do something and control your bodies, <laughs> they can't actually control you, but they can give you thoughts and suggestions. Those they control are the ones they possess. Oh, my goodness. I hope you'll go back and study some of this. Check up, check up on the pastor. See, make sure he ain't lost his mind. But I want you to know that I have lost my mind. I've lost it in Christ. And that's the reason why it's necessary for me to have the mind of Christ. Right. Uh, tell your neighbor, yes, he lost his mind. <laughs> it's all right to lose your mind in Jesus. But if you lose your mind in something demonic, then you have really gone off the deep end. I want you to understand some things about signs of demonic oppression. All right, everybody say signs, signs. of demonic oppression. This is how you'll know when somebody or even yourself are under demonic oppression. Number one, you will act uncivilized. People who are acting uncivilized are getting suggestions from the demonic world. They're acting more like animals than people. That's the reason why people who don't like to wear their clothes, they're under demonic influence. Or, I should say, demonic oppression because they now are acting less civilized they eat uncivilized they act uncivilized they act more like animals than people Ooh -wee. <laughs>